So today, we're gonna talk about a few of the things in our, <laughs> a few of the things in our relationship <laughs> that just worked. Frankie. Um, Frankie! Frankie wants kisses! Yes, we have a series on our TikTok called Things in Our Relationship That Just Work. And you guys have seemed to be loving it. So we decided to get take a, a little- Take a deeper dive yeah. into, into a couple of them. So the first thing we do in our relationship that just works is in the mornings, we start off our day with a big, long hug. I'd say like half, I'd say probably half the mornings. Yeah, not every morning, but we try. And sometimes we'll even like start our morning and then we'll be like, wait, we forgot, forgot to, do. to do this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it could be first thing in the morning, sometime during your breakfast, but we generally speaking make time every single day to have like that long embrace. Yeah, just like hold each other, take some deep breaths, like just like get on the same, like I feel like it just like gets you on like the same ground, like totally. with your energy that day. And absolutely, it's yeah. important to do. And then, you know, you end up with a little spooch too. Like a little oh, of like, course. Like, uh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, but I, I agree with you. It just, it really helps us get on the same wavelength and, mm -hmm. you know, starts the day on a really positive note. It's like, you know, when they say like, uh, your goal setting, make your bed, you know, it's like, it's an easy thing to do. Same sort of thing. It's you like start a, your day, mm -hmm. give a hug or a kiss. It's like the easiest thing you can do, get on the same wavelength. Yeah. It's like the making your bed for your relationship though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the equivalent. That's like, yeah. like, maybe it, it is. Yeah, the second thing we do in our relationship that just works, and this is something that we don't do every day, and I'd say maybe we do it once a week, but uh, kind of going off that, that first point, we try to take maybe five minutes um, to sit down, look at one another, not say a word and just gaze into each other's souls. Yeah. And and at first this could be a little bit awkward. It could be tricky. You could start laughing and these things are all cool. They make sense. Frankie. Loves her kisses. <laughs> but uh after a few times it's actually pretty interesting and yeah, you know, it's difficult to describe, but I'd say if you just give it a shot, you're gonna you know, some different sort of feelings are gonna pop up. I, I can promise that. Yeah, cause usually like staring and like silence is awkward. And um, especially when you're that close to someone and you're both just staring at each other. But it really, like when you look that deeply into someone's eyes, it like, like after a while you like start feeling like them and like a really deep, like interesting way. Like, yeah. I don't know, you almost like, teleport into their body of like how they're feeling because you're like staring so deeply yeah. into each other's like souls <laughs> like, and actually that's a great way to describe it i mean it, it is yeah. it's a tough thing to explain but i mean i could have done any better thank you thank you uh okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> she's just like toppled over the third thing that we do in our relationship that just works is like delegating chores um together very important yeah very important so like we don't like split them up and do them separately we kind of like say like oh we need to get the dishes or, like empty the dishwasher and then we both like have like our roles that we always play um and it makes it just go so much faster it makes it more it just fun. makes things more it makes things more efficient chores suck and yeah. honestly delegating them equally is the best way to do things, get some done the quickest, and it's like something else you're kind of doing with your partner, so it's like a win-win-win-win. Dishes, mm -hmm. I take them out, you put them away. Yeah, and when we're putting in the dishwasher, you like scrub, scrub them, them, and then yeah. I like arrange them in the dishwasher. Yes. <laughs> and then the garbage, he takes it, out, it out, I put, put the in bag, the bag, and then what was the other thing? When we cook, oh, generally yeah. speaking, I make the entree, she makes the apps, and there's a whole bunch of other things you can do, but you know, generally speaking, just delegating the task, making sure that, you know, you're holding each other accountable, making sure that everything's pretty fair. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. Another thing we like to do in our relationship that just tends to work, and, and a lot of people do this, but we... We have a right here. We make a conscious effort every day, whether it's a little bit of change, a couple bucks, to throw something in our coin jar. 
We have a strict rule about this. We can't pull anything out. And if we do, it's got to be for a big event, a vacation, this or this or that. Yeah. Fun day and night. Yeah. It's just like a fun little like way to save up money and you kind of forget how much is in it. And then when we went on our last vacation, we just like took all of everything that we had in there. And it was really fun to have that extra spending money that you don't feel like is coming it out. It helps and saving is so important, you know, and it's, you know, it's difficult to save, especially with the pandemic being over, everyone's gonna wanna go, everyone's gonna wanna go back out and spend money, do their thing, we, we yeah. get that. But I feel like as long as you take a little bit, you know, for example, if we go get groceries or, uh, how can I say this? Whatever we do, if I gotta pay for something with the whole 20, any yeah. change I get back, that's going in there. Yeah, and I know- It's kind of like acorns, but in like real life, you know? For sure, for sure. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I know all my girls can relate to having just like change always floating around in your purse. So is that a, is that a thing? Yeah, okay. you always just have like random stuff in your purse, and change is just always like at the bottom. Yeah, just, you just like throw it in there. Just sitting there having like, some like, <laughs> dance party. Yeah, that's the change. Okay. So I just you know dump that in the ca or the cash jars, which we, what we like to call it. Dump that in the cash jar and a few quarters here and there, you know, they start adding up, adding up, and then you got a full jar. So. And you have millions upon millions of dollars. Yeah. The fifth thing that we are going to cover today that we do in our relationship that just works is we love to play backgammon. And <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but this is our little travel board. We also have a full full size board too. We play online. But we do we do we play a lot of backgammon. But I think the point of, of this is like if you can have whether it's a designated game, a, a few different activities, like something fun that you like to do, just make something that does not matter at all. You just bond over it and like Absolutely. We like to just like have our coffee in the morning and like sit and just play. It's something that you can kind of do that's a little bit like, yeah. like it works your mind enough to where you're like, you know, Absolutely. using that brain power, but you're also able to like chill, watch some TV in the background. Definitely. And it's a good way to get the competitive juices out with yeah. something that's not that serious. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I think exactly. that's important. You know, I got to teach her like, you know, certain, certain, you know, she thinks she can play, like she doesn't understand that Greeks, like we do this, you know, I teach her strategies and like I let her win here and there. It's nice, it's it's it's, it's important, you know. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> I totally know about all of that. But he did teach me how to play, which is also a fun thing in your relationship to like teach each other a new yeah, game. Yeah, one person knows the game, the other person doesn't. That's like, that, that's just something fun to do. We, yeah. we like to do that, but we have a lot more of these. We do. And if you guys <laughs> like this video, and want to see uh, some of the other things we like to do, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, whatever. Hit the like, subscribe button, and we'll make that part too. Shit, we yeah. probably have enough for four, like 10 parts. Yeah, so also we have all those on our TikTok too. We have like the little, I've included them in this video, so you can go check those out on our TikTok. And, yeah. and do and implement all of these things into your life immediately, and you will see and reap the benefits yesterday. You will literally turn into us, so oh, then get no ready. One will do that. <laughs> don't you? Don't you? Um, On that note. Anyways, <laughs> ciao. Bye. <laughs> and I be coming back for you for the rest of my time. And I love you more. She love me more. And now bye bye. The perfect love And she hit me when the green eyes tell me it's time to go And you said it And I said my And she me pulling me a little bit closer with the back pocket And I go for And she come back I hit you with the baseline waistline Now it's time to do a thing Every time I fall, every time I can't go that far
a star, you're the light. I love when you get me high, you're the truth I'm guessing. The writing's on the wall, I'ma keep the circle very small. You and me forever through it all. Free your love, give me all. You know that I'll be there for you. Free your mind, I'll carry you. Got me feeling safe with you. Real nice, I never knew. Don't put that you do manje. So you put the hour on the majeras. Dava go me the panze. Pure pure hour on the shanje. Love you, love you, love you, la 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 la. Say it many times 'cause you know my love won't hurt. 